Hey, Sag, how's it going? I hope everything is going well. So, okay, <clears throat> let's get into your message that I'm getting here. You all have 14, which is a five. So five is a number of change. It's also a number of conflict. And I am getting some conflict here. You have stay strong, be a guiding light, ground yourself, be love. Okay. Stay strong, be a guiding light. Okay. The reason why they are telling you this, Sag, is the emperor with the fish. Okay. So we've got some Aries energy here. This is my Pisces card, but it's also, um, you have Scorpio and cancer energy. All right. And then how your energy right here, Sag, is the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Pentacles and you also have the moth. Okay. You show up as the moth, which is very interesting because the moth, is attracted to anything shiny and new. Okay. And look at that. How you're showing up with the Ace of Pentacles. What's also interesting is that the fish and the moth are my cards for being on the fence here. And there, there's that conflicting energy. All right. So I want to read you, I, I want to read you this because for some of you, this emperor is, this could be your spouse. This could be, um, <clears throat> hold on your spouse, your partner. Um, this could be some sort of father figure. All right some sort of, um, masculine energy it could be man, woman. It doesn't matter. It's some sort of masculine energy too, for some of you that are, I get like this person being very set in their ways. Okay. And a number of you may be trying to You could be trying to figure out how to adapt to this emperor energy. Okay. So this person that it's just, it's a very dominant energy. All right. So for some of you, I'm getting like you trying to adapt to what this emperor wants. But some, but a number of you are being guided towards something new that really speaks to you. A number of you, Sag, what I was also hearing is you may be trying to persuade this emperor of something. Okay. Excuse me. And it's difficult because this person is already pretty established. All right. And the emperor is very experienced. And that's why I said for, for a number of you, this is you, you, you are this emperor. You're very experienced, um, in an area of, you know, work, there could be an area of expertise. Like you've mastered an area in your life. All right. So because whenever I see him, I get checkmate. All right. But if you have mastered an area of expertise, a number of you are conflicted because I think you're being called to something new, something different. And maybe it's like out of your wheelhouse. Okay. And with, with you showing up as the moth, I think you're very attracted to something new that could potentially, it does have a lot of potential with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So there is something here about you that 
it's like it's waiting. This is something you have, Sag, and it's just waiting to be developed. It's waiting to be nurtured. And this can this is something that you have. It's it's a gift. For a lot of you, it's a gift that you have. Because it's a pentacle. You have it. All right. A lot of you, it has to do with your hands. Okay. So, um, you know, I don't know. That's just what I'm getting. But you have something and you know it. But the moth energy sometimes shows up where it's like, that's a really good idea. And I really like that. But I just, I wish it was easier. Okay. It's unfamiliar. I'm getting like it's unfamiliar territory for a number of you. Okay. Now, hold on. I'm going to read Stay Strong, Be a Guiding Light. Let's say this emperor is one side of you. Okay. Now this could be another person. Just allow it to resonate how you see fit. Let's say this emperor is one side of you, right? And... You're so used to doing things a certain way, Sag. You, and, and this has worked for you up until this point, okay? Um, something has worked for you. You know how to do it. You, you, um, you've mastered. You've mastered an area of your life, okay? Um, but then there's this other side of you. <laughs> And I think I, I get this emotional attachment to it. I get this an emotion, emotional attachment to this person or uh, this side of yourself. Because it's just been there or they've been there for so long. Okay, like I said, for some of you, it is your mom. It's your dad. It's, it's some sort of authoritative figure, authoritative energy here. All right. It gives permission, even if this is a part of yourself. There it is. There it is. It's like you're trying to persuade a part of yourself. You're, you're like saying, give me permission to do this. Um, or persuade this person. Like, don't you see? Like, this is going to be good. You know, uh, what do you think? Okay. That's what I'm saying. It can be your partner. You may have an emotional tie with who this is. Okay. Um, yeah, I get, so let's, but let's go back to this being another side of yourself. It's like, you're asking yourself to like, let me do this, you know, because the fish is a bit of a roamer. All right. Let me go to the fish. The fish is a bit of a roamer. And to bring the fish into balance, it says, set a small goal and accomplish it. All right. Set a small goal and accomplish it. So let's say, let's say this is a person, Sag, this person could be telling you, well, why would we want to go do that? Why would we want to go try something new when this works, right? Sag, why do you want to go try to go a different route when we've already mastered this area? We're good. We're set, right? But there's a part of you, Sag, that I'm getting like you, you want to try something. You want to do something here, okay? And you're either, you know, looking for permission or asking for permission or, you know, wanting some sort of, um, oh, okay. Ooh, the moth. I just noticed. Okay. Listen with the moth. Oh, okay. This is getting interesting with the moth, right? The moth says when out of balance idealizes others. And they're jittery, idealizes others. So this emperor energy 
whether you know it's somebody else or you this emperor energy is saying i know that looks you know ideal sag i know that that looks good but they could be saying you need a plan you need a plan you're not going to convince me that that's going to work without showing me some evidence. You know, I, I need to see, you know, I need to see a plan. I need to see it mapped out. Okay. So I'm hearing that. Okay. And it's funny, the moth energy to bring into balance, it says finish a project. Hold on. Let me go to the fish. The fish is, to bring into balance is set a small goal and accomplish it. Okay. All right. So something I'm hearing to tell you, this is all making sense as it's going along. Something I'm hearing to tell you is that Rome was not built in a day. Okay. Sag, you're wanting something here. You have a vision, but you, this emperor could be saying like, hold on, you're, you're doing that too fast or based off of their experience, they're like, mm, we should probably go about this in a, in a certain way. Okay. Like we need to set small goals in order to pursue, you know, or it's, it's like order. This emperor is like, you know, we have to do things in order. Things need to Things have a certain way that they need to go. Okay. So I'm getting that. Um, okay. So both why they're showing you this and how you're showing up. It's about if you, they're saying, if you want balance here in this situation, the very first thing is there's some sort of small project. Something needs to be completed first. Okay. Okay to get this going, get this underway. Sorry about the babies in the background. So let me read, stay strong, be a guiding light. Okay. Um, so it says fear is a trap for you. When you worry about others, you fall in their lives are their own to direct. Okay. There's that emperor energy. I know you want the best for them. However, they need to do it their way without interference. All around you are people who are struggling at the moment. They are at difficult parts of their lives. Okay. So there's the conflict that I'm getting. Okay. It says, stay strong and be a guiding light. Remind them of their benevolence, the truth of their perfection and unlimited potential. They can do anything. Um, but most importantly to love who they are. Okay. So something that you're supposed to be doing here, Sag, it talks about love who you are, love who you are. Okay. Hold on. Love where they are, where they are going and where they have been. Additional message. It is nothing to do with you and how you have conducted yourself. It is about their parts and how they choose to walk. There's your emperor. Okay. And there's also your energy too. Oh, Sag. It's almost like I'm seeing you, like you're trying to persuade this emperor to come with you with this fish energy. And they are, whoever this is, like, I'm also getting them like the fish too, where they're kind of like, they're, they're on the fence about this too, but you're trying to persuade this emperor. Okay. Because you're seeing something here and I, it does, listen, I'm not saying there's a lot of potential here with whatever you're looking at, Sag, whatever you're thinking about, um, whatever you're holding on to right now, whatever you're sitting with. You have a vision, but a number of you are looking for, for support from this emperor. And I'm hearing this person like, listen, I'm from the show me state. So you need to show me. Okay. What is a show me state, by the way? What is a show me state? I don't even know. Um, 
<laughs> so be free of guilt, burden of responsibility. It is not yours to bear. Okay. You are free from this. You are walking your own path, Sag. And even though they cross, coincide, and join at times, there's your emperor, right? Some of y'all, this is your partner, okay? Um, to stay on your own path, ask for guidance from spirit. Be careful you don't step off your path and onto another's, for then you are lost to yourself. Ground yourself. Breathe love whenever you go. And remember, every path is different, okay? Comparison is not helpful. It implies one is greater or lesser than another. All is equal, all is one. Love where you are, love your path. It is pre-chosen by you before your human journey began. It is why you are here, Sag. Love, laughter, and enjoyment on your journey. Keep it light, keep it in the light, okay? Which I feel like you're trying to. You do show up as a moth. Okay. Um, you are always blessed and showered in love from spirit. Blessed, blessed be, blessed be love. So, you know, that's what I'm getting here, right? Like a number of you are excited. You are having these thoughts, you know, you are like, Ooh, this is, this could be good. This could be good. And you're either trying to convince a part of you or whoever this is that, you know, Hey, this, you know, that this is a good idea. Look at what, you know, look at what I found. This is great. Yada, yada, yada. I think that what they're telling you is Sag is baby steps. Remember I heard Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay. So with both the moth and the fish, the advice is, you know, to finish a project, finish something. Okay. So odds are you've started something with sit with this Sag. It's time to finish it. Or listen, either your emperor energy or your emperor is saying, look, Sag, you, you've got a ton of great ideas, right? And, and this one could be excellent, but I think you need to finish this part first, or they're like, you know, I need you to show me that you're going to finish something before I follow along here. Okay. So again, there, that, that I feel is, it's almost like this, look, here's you, here's your person. And it's like two of you maybe are clashing or you know, there's some sort of crash happening here. All right. So a clashing of the minds, a clashing of, you know, feelings or, um, how to do something. All right. It could be a clashing of like, you know, very masculine and very feminine energy, a clashing of ideas of how to go about something. But the very first thing I guess I'm, cause I'm being told to tell you is there's a part of this and it's not you proving anything to who this emperor is. It really is about you, Sag. Okay. You're wishing that this was easier. You're wishing that this could get done. Um, maybe, you know, you could be impatient. Okay. You're, you could be impatient about something, but patience is a virtue. You know, your emperor energy or your emperor would say patience is key. All right. I just feel like this emperor is sitting here looking at you like, well, show me if that's such a good idea. If, you know, if, uh, <laughs> hold on. If the ends justify, or if the means justify the ends, if the rewards outweigh the risk, then show me. All right. Show me a little something and then we can invest. Then we can take the next steps. Okay. I'm trying to make this make sense for you, Sag. Something else I'm hearing. Oh my God. Of 
course I'm getting this like right at the end. Something else I'm getting is that this emperor is presenting you with an opportunity. There it is. Fuck. No, I'm sure for a number of you that part may. This emperor is presenting you with an opportunity. Okay. And you wish it was easier. You wish that, you know, sad, you're like, Oh, kind of on the fence about this, you know? Um, so I'm getting that for the flip side of it. Okay. This emperor, you know, is, is there's opportunity here. Excuse me, y'all. How burp my bad. <laughs> my bad, y'all. This emperor is showing up with an opportunity, but there's hesitation on your part. And I think for a number of you said, you're like overthinking this. You're like, you're like, oh, uh, how does this happen all at once? Or, you know, you're, you're, I'm getting overthinking and whoever this emperor is, is just chilling. They're like, look, I, I know what I'm offering you. So you, you know, it's on you. You let me know. Cause whoever this is, they're in some sort of position of power, authority, they have mastered something. And so it's like, they're coming in with some sort of offer. I'm, I'm hearing to give both messages. So I'm not trying to confuse you, but for a number of you, this is flipped. This emperor is giving you this offer. You're just wishing you're conflicted because you're like, I wish that this could be, you know, I wish, well, what should I do here? Um, how do we go about this? It's a wishful type of energy. Okay. So you got to start somewhere, Sag. That's what they're saying. You just, you have to start. So no matter which storyline really resonates with you, you have to start some with something small, set a small goal in relation to what this is about. Okay. So hmm, how can I, how can I give an example? I like to give examples in the reading. All right. Who, I don't know if it's you or your person, whoever presented the idea, let's say someone presented the idea of, cause it, this is something that's going to pay off in the end. All right. It is ace of pentacles. Emperor energy is here. There's something here that will pay off in the end. Okay. All right. So I'm looking at this ace of pentacles. Okay. Let's say there's an idea about it, some sort of investment. Let's just say it's an investment. Okay. And you or the emperor is coming in and saying, Hey, I think this is a good idea. I think this would be a wise investment. All right. Yes, it's something that will require work. It's something that will not happen overnight. And yes, there are liable to be hiccups along the way, like maybe like an Airbnb. Okay. Like somebody's saying, oh, let's get an Airbnb. I think that would be a good idea. And the other person is like, well, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Let's just do it. But the emperor energy is saying, well, we've got to do some research. You know, we've got to, we've got to look at certain things. What is the area, this, that, and the third. Well, the moth energy showing up, which is how you show up, Sag. It's like, I just want to fucking get it done. Let's just get it, get it done and be done and over with. All right. So I'm just using that as an example. Okay. So Sag, that's what I'm seeing. There's a little bit of conflict. And look, remember the part where it said, here, here's Here's how I know this is either a part of you or this is like someone who you have to like, you have to interact with who this is. It says, um, you are walking your own path. Okay. And even though your paths with who this is, they may cross coincide or join at times to stay on your own path. Ask for guidance from spirit. There it is. That's part of, okay. They're like, that's why you read that part. <sighs> ask for guidance. Okay. So obviously the bit of advice that they're giving you here is like, set a small goal and finish it. Setting a small goal for you, Sag, right now in whatever's happening is going to give you who, y'all, I'm sweating. It's going to give you confidence. 
you're going to develop more confidence. That's what I'm hearing to tell you. So, all right, let's say it's about starting a YouTube channel. All right. Hi. When I started this channel, because I overthink things, I never realized it until I realized it. Okay. But once I recorded my first reading, I was able to sit back and analyze it. Okay. And also, um, compare, you know, um, look at other readers that were on at that time. And, you know, it, are, is an audience going to gravitate towards my readings? What's my style? Um, you know, I, I had to kind of like practice a few times and that was my small goal. And sure, you know, did I have a, an idea of what I wanted this YouTube channel to be? Yes, I did. But I had to, you know, it, it all started with me picking up the camera, picking up my phone and practicing, right? Even before I picked up my phone, I was asking my friends and people I know, hey, can I do a reading on you? Hey, can I do a practice reading on you? So it was those little things. And then finally me putting a reading up on YouTube, which is like, you know, I know that doesn't sound like a big thing, but it was okay. I was just like, oh, okay, we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> and God bless the people that were here early on in the readings. Like you all, if some of you are those people, thank you so much because shoot, people still tell me like you take too long. And I'm like, man, don't go look at my older videos. Cause you'll be pissed. Okay. So me doing those little things, and I'm just using that as an example, Sag, me doing those little things um, it helped me develop confidence. Okay. And look, I'm still learning. I'm still navigating my channel and things like that. So you just actually have to do something. All right. So whether it is, you know, your person over here talking about, you know, it's on some Cuba Gooding Jr. Show me the money. Um, or if this is an aspect of yourself, your even your higher self, like prove it. Okay. Start small. 28 minutes in star small size. That's your, that's your message. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I really hope this helps. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Peace.